Okay, it's an absolutely lovely day today. I'm out hunting with my pal, Matt. And uh, first coin for today is a war nickel, 1942. And the mint mark be on the back. Eh, we'll get it when we get home. Looks like an uh, S, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, starting the day off with silver. All right, come back with the next one. Okay, next high tone of the day. Out pops a Merc Dime. I'll leave it in the clump and I'll clean it up when I get home. Show you what I got. All right, two for the day. And I've also found a wheat scent. So come back with the next one. All right, number three for the day is a very worn barber. 1906. All right. It's down there about six inches. Come back with the next one. All right, at it again, another good solid signal, and uh, another Merc dime. He's saying it's a Merc. Looks like a Merc. I'll clean it off when I get home. All right, come back with the next one. Okay, next target is a gold-plated or gold-filled, I'm not sure which yet, ring. But it's, it's a, a copper ring that's either... Uh, plated or filled. Looks like, judging by that hallmark, that it's filled. It says 14 carat on it, so it's usually a sign of a filled ring. All right. Get back with the next. Okay, I got another silver here. Don't know what it is. It's a dime. You see the rim sticking out. Cool. I'll clean it off later. Come back and see what it is. Awesome. Okay, back here, <clears throat> excuse me, sunflower seed. <laughs> back here, uh, the second hunt, and I've got my second silver of it all the way down at the bottom of the hole. Then, looks like a dime. Yep. It's a nice condition one, whatever it is. No, oh, mercury. Awesome. Cool. We'll clean it up when we get back. All right, come back with the next. Okay, so I'm starting to clean up, you know, that first dime I found that was, uh, unknown what it was and I thought I'd start filming it. It's a seeded. It's an 1876 seeded. Don't know the mint mark or the condition but uh, wow that's a surprise. I mean that place is is pretty old but uh, I thought all this stuff had been found out by now. Alright well I'll keep continue cleaning all my stuff I found and uh, come back with you later. Hey guys, it's Brian back after those two hunts. I'll kind of show you the stuff I found. Uh, first, the random items. Uh, this little Tootsie car, man, I wish it was in better shape. I love finding these. These are so cool, but time was not kind to that one. I found two matching silver plated spoons. One has the back mark on it that says Oxford Silver Plate. Uh, and they were found probably within 10 feet of each other, which is pretty neat. This looks like a little lock, maybe off one of those uh, carpet bag cases. That's what I think it is. I'm not terribly sure, but it's, it's definitely some sort of a little keyhole lock. Uh, some lead bottle seals. This is, I believe it's a gold plated ring. It's copper. It's uh, got a 14 cross in there. It doesn't say 14K, 14 cross. But it looks plate and not filled because it's kind of got like that flaky, foily appearance. And gold filled tends to be a little, little more solid looking. Um, before these last two hunts, basically when the snow was still around, I, I found these few handful of Civil War items. Uh, a couple bullets, a flattened mini. It looks like it wasn't shot that it was intentionally flattened. Maybe intended to be a checkers piece or something. I don't know. And then uh, the good good coins from the last two hunts. Um, at site one, I found four silver coins, including the old trifecta of Roosevelt, Merck, and Barber. I found a pretty neat trade token uh, from a local community. It's from the Fortuna Mercantile Company in Fortuna, Missouri, a little town that was founded in the, the early... 1900s 25 cents in trade so that would have got you a lot back in the early 1900s from uh, site two I found two more dimes uh, one of them is an 1876 seated S S mint mark 
So between two sites, I pulled the uh, pulled the old slam. Although I guess you can't really count that when you go from two different sites. Also a nice little pile of Wheaties. The oldest being a 1910, and the rest just ranging the whole gamut. But uh, yeah, that's what I've been up to lately. Two hunts plus one little snowbird hunt, looking for relics. Um, anyway, at the end of this video, I'll pull a little uh, little video of me coin roll hunting and being a dork. I scored uh, 26 silver Kennedys uh, after buying $60 worth at my local bank. One of them was a 90% of the rest were all 40s, but I was being a little little goofy on there. So enjoy that and uh, I'll come back with more metal detecting finds as the weather warms up. Thanks for watching. Okay, I know the snow still on the ground so I haven't been metal detecting. I've been coin roll hunting and I just went to the bank and got uh, Someone had recently deposit, deposited uh, some half dollars, and as you can see, I've been opening them, and uh, I've found so many 40 percenters in here. Just this last roll alone, I've got five 40 percenters, so I figured I'm going to open these last two rolls uh, on the video and see what's in there. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. I have never found this many at one time. Usually you'll find one here or there, uh, but just the, the sheer volume of these is, is incredible. Wow. I'm going to have a fun time checking these for errors and dye varieties too. Looks like there's quite a lot of uh, the 74s in there, and those ones have a couple doubles on them. Let's see if I can keep the roll in it. All right. Do the quick check here. Oh, I see a few. Wow. Sorry. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> this first time. I should have planned this out a little better before I did. As you can see, there's a couple silver rims in there, in and amongst the clad. Looks like I've got three in this one. So, see if I can. Pick them out here. Here's a 69 and 68 and should be one more. Yep, another 68. Wow. Coin roll hunting just gives me something to do while uh, while I can't swing my metal detector. And uh, those of you know, many here of us here in the Midwest got uh, upwards of two feet of snow the past couple weeks. And, just now getting warm enough where it's going to melt. Unfortunately, this weekend probably won't be ready yet for, for detecting. So I've got some more rolls of coins to go through, not, not halves, of course. Um, just some cents and some nickels and stuff like that, you know, a metal detector fiend, treasure hunting fiend, and all that stuff. Well, this has a few in it, too. Wow, look at that. Uh, I, I think I count six in this one. Oh, my, that's the best roll. Uh, six in one roll. Wow. That is crazy. Um, wow. That just goes to show you. I mean, you can go find treasure as close as your local bank. There's a 66. Um, a 64. All right. A 90 percenter. 68. And another 68. My goodness. 80, 71, this one's got to be a silver one, 67, 72, 68, oh my gosh, all that out of one roll, and there's another 68, and another 68, and a 69, so there was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Seven 40 percenters and one 90 percenter in that one roll of $10 worth of half dollars. So for a $10 investment, I found uh, that much silver in, in one. And, and all told, out of these, uh, I got uh, approximately 60 almost $70 worth of, of halves that someone had deposited. And as you can see, here's my, my pile of silver right here. These are all 40 percenters and one 90 percenter. 
Wow, what a day. And now I'm going to have fun searching through these for, for dye varieties and double dyes and stuff and uh, dream about getting out there with the CTX and finding some more goodies. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching.